Hello everyone and welcome to Bigger and Plays Hatch Round 4 with the Kaiser Reich mod. It is back, people. It is back. And we are here in the Italian Republic. Now, things have changed quite a lot in the newest update. It's Garibaldi's Nightmare, if I remember correctly. I probably mispronounced that, but we're here. So, one of the major things that's happened in this update is the separation of the Italian peninsula. Before, it was Social Republic of Italy down here in the boot. Then it was just... I forget exactly what it was called, but it was effectively the Papal State, as the Pope did own it, and that owned all the northern part of Italy. Now it's split up between the Kingdom of Two Sicilies, although right now it's Two Sicilies, as it is controlled by Social Democrats. Then we have the Socialist Republic, which is in the north, which kind of makes more sense, considering the fact that Communist France is right here, so they made this little puppet. Then we have my faction, the Italian Republic, which has a non-aggression pact, at the very least with the Austrian Empire. They keep us alive. Also, these are my jam. They also have the ability to walk through my lands freely, and they guarantee my independence. Good for them, even though they are kind of annoying. I hope they don't have anything that can put me under their rule. Bulgarian prob. They have a big tree, don't they? I might need to side with them later on. Then there's also a couple more things. There is Sardinia. Now, if you know much about the unification of Italy, you'll know that Sardinia and Piedmont, which is up here, the Kingdom of Sardinia and Piedmont, I think that's how it was called, they were the ones to actually unify all of Italy. Also, is there a way to turn that down? I don't know. Okay. And at the same time, Sardinia is a part of the Entente from the very beginning. So they're kind of like the remnants of what Italy used to be, while we also claim that mantle. Then there's the Kingdom of Two Sicilies, Sicilies, which isn't supposed to exist, but it's one of the puppets that used to be under Austria. It is now broken free, and it guarantees the Papal State. And then there's the Socialists, who want to mess everything up. I did play as the Socialists once, that was a good, jolly old time. Took over the entirety of the peninsula, and a lot of their missions are gone, if you'd like to check in here. A lot of the missions that had them go further out into the world and conquer... The previous Italy's lands are gone. And now we all have individual focused trees. There's a few things I can do from the very beginning. I think assessing the economy would be very nice to start out with. As for military plans... Hmm. I'm either thinking Annie in power... Oh, they're all kind of good. Republic survives Annie in power or restoration of the monarchy. They're all decent choices. Either... Really go strong with Austrian ties. Ties with the Union. Union ties, stable democracy. Nothing really too big here. Protect democracy, contain extremism. Or all in one where we go at our own, uh, destroy Austrian influence, and try to take over Italy by itself. Try to recreate what we had done in the past. Recreate fascist Italy. I got a decent little army here. Not too much. 15 units in total. Let's pull out all the Alpine units and put them on that border there. Is that really necessary? I don't know. I know that we do border Tessino, which it doesn't seem like we have any claims on it, even though I know that in previous parts, at least when I played this before, it was considered as Italian. No, Swiss, Swiss, Ita Swiss Italy. It's Italian land that the Swiss hold, or at least the Swiss-speaking part of the... The Italian part of Switzerland. So we have the begin the Ris Orgimento. Reinforce the Polo line, military exercises. I can't start that until 1938. Then Venetian Concordates, take Naples, take Roma, take Sardinia. So I can either bring Venice in or not. Take Sardinia. That would be a bit harder. Especially if we go it alone. Especially if we have to fight all of France. Italian iridescent policies, Sicilian officers. It's definitely going to be an uphill battle. I kind of chose this faction because I figure it would be a good mix of being weak and also reclaiming what is ours. Let's put our main troops onto the Po River line. Do I have... Yeah, we got... Ooh, Rodolfo. It's kind of funny considering the fact that I'm actually playing a game as Italy right now in vanilla. So I'm able to recognize a lot of these guys and a lot of the ones that were brought in for other things from the mod. Rodolfo, Marshall, yeah, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, you're pretty good. What is this? 
Thorough Planner. You go in there. You for Generals, Fortress Buster, Commander. Anything that's good, Mount Mountaineer, yes. The Mountaineer will go to my Mountain Troops. Good, good. As for that, let's go standard opening. At least standard for me. See, civilian factories, how many? Four being sent on consumer goods, that leaves us ten. No, nope, leaves us six of ten. What kind of naval dockyards we got? Production. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. And no dockyards. Venice, no dockyards. For shame, Venice. For shame. So, what kind of being called Venice and the Italian Federation interchangeably? Fiat 3000, a Weltkrieg at a tank, kind of pointless then. We got a lot of building up to do. Some support equipment would be nice. We got... Hmm. We could do close air support. Nail bomber. A lot of these are just the models taken directly from the game. Huh. From vanilla. Let's put in one there, one there. Maybe... I think six would be pretty good, and then I can start building up with some of those. Maybe one more civilian, and then that. And then just kind of work it out from there. Beep, 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 beep. That'll be fine. Insufficient resources, just lacking tungsten. Which at the moment could come from Portugal, could come from Siam, the Ostasian Germany. Hmm. Let's get it from Portugal so it's not too far. Also, there are some other changes made in this. First off, the Arabian Axis, the axis that kind of forms over here, it's not gonna happen anymore. I don't necessarily remember the Ottoman Empire being so big, but that might be just false memory. Over here, Dutch Ostessian, which is, we have already the Ostessian Gesellschaft, which is like the trading company, but now we also have Dutch Ostessian, which is, or Deutsch, which is a, you know, a puppet underneath Germany. But before then, it used to be direct rule. Now, there's another company here, which also includes Dutch, Ostasian, Malaysia. And I th and including Kaiser Wilhelmsland. Well, that's one way to put Guinea. Papau. Bismarck Archipelago. I, kinda, I like these names. So yes, this nation owns all of those tiny islands, which is a godsend if you've ever had to play the game and deal with all that. Then up here with my old friends, the Qing. Ah, I miss the Qing. Would you always... Oh yes, I remember now. So previously, the whole of the Shangdong Peninsula used to be controlled by, I believe, the Germans. Now they have it in just Tsingtao. And they have added in... Hui Hui Hui. Hui Hao Hui. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I was surprised that you got to stay there. Deutsch Ostasien. As well as... That's the Gesellschaft, not the Germany. Ah, that makes sense. So Deutsch Ostasien. They've taken over all territory in this area. That used to be under direct rule from Germany. Then we still have the legation cities. And, oh, Portugal. I think Portugal would be a really fun game to play in this. Mostly because if you know anything about some of the press releases leading up to this release mod, Brazil is not going to have a very good time. They are supposed to explode. In a similar way to the United States and other things. But we might as well get going. We have low manpower, and indeed we do. So we're probably going to lose most of that manpower just walking around. We have a decently sized navy. Republic of Italy in 1936. With the French defeat in the fall of Rome in 1919, an, exhausting Ital an exhausted Italy was left at the mercy of the Austrians, seemingly dis destined to be divided again. Yeah, I pretty much already explained most of that. Let's say you get yourself an admiral. Go patrolling in the Adriatic. That's our sea. This is our land. I'm surprised that we have such a navy, even though we're not able to actually build a navy. Two battleships, heavy cruisers, Light cruisers, lots of destroyers I'm not going to be able to replace. Lots of submarines I'm not going to be able to replace. Hmm. Now how am I going to take out... Specifically, the biggest enemy at the moment is definitely going to be the Socialist Republic. The very nation I used to play. Assassination of Kerensky. Nothing too 
Difficult there. So you are now Levar Kornilyov. Alush Orde, you still have an awesome face. Mongolia is still led by that rebel. Hmm, did Mongolia get some extra land? Claimed by the Qing, claimed by Feng Ten. Hmm. I also played as Manchukuo in vanilla, and I get a better appreciation of the Feng Ten government in Qing, considering that in our timeline, Feng Ten government was Qing. Or at least, the remnants of what Qing used to be. As for here, what are you up to? Imperial restructuring, communal army, SS the economy, the same as me. Future of Mezzagiano, Latium, unknown focus. So you're just, you're not going to do anything, huh? For some time, we're not in any faction, so we can probably just hold out for a bit. Totalist Charter. Mussolini, Veloy, Beria, or Beria, are interested parties arriving in Birmingham today to discuss the common ground. I see. The people must reject this madness. Are you led by Mussolini yet? No, I suppose not. Also, something that's new in this mod is that Unit of Britain starts out in the... Whatever you're called. The Third International. They start out in it instead of being brought in. You are now, instead of Middle Europa, you are now the Reichspakt. I like it. You are still Entente, Entente, Reichspakt. Pretty cool. Entente, Entente. Yes, sizable Entente, sizable Reichspakt, and sizable Third International. I'm just waiting for Austria, because they might be my best bet. They were a tough army to fight back when I played as the Socialist Republic of Italy. They nearly killed us. They definitely killed France. We had fought through all of Germany just for Austria to take it all over again. And then I had to fix it because France was not very good. But that is something I need to take note of. The fact that if I am to go against them, if I'm to go against Italy, that'll immediately bring in both the French and the British. And I'll lead to a long, costly war. So I may even want to just look out for over here first. Or maybe Sardinia. Something like a naval invasion route. It might be necessary. Also, are we going a bit slow? Feels like we're going a bit slow. But if I put it too high, I don't think the video's going to come out well. So, assess the government's done. Industrial improvements. I could go for, over here, one of these. Could. I could. Ooh, and I could go for... No, you do not give me anything, Merchant Navy. None of the... Oh, coast, uh, coastal forts, defend the coast, Grand Navy. None of them give me any factories. I would like some factories. Industrial improvements for industry or military contracts for 20,000 units of Italian Carcanos. Not bad. But I think I'll go for industrial improvements as I'm not able to use any of my manpower at the moment. What will that take? We are currently on volunteer only. Mm, Emirates of Afghanistan declared war on the Dominion of India. And electoral gridlock in France. Ooh, interesting. Oh, you're new. Bernot Franchon. Um, you're all over here. Free real estate for the Dominion of India. Emirates of Afghanistan, what are you doing? I suppose that means that... Oh, you are looking a bit different. Edward VIII. Australasia... Oh, yeah, the Australasian Confederation, they have a new focus tree. Very nice, very nice, very nice. wonder how well this is going to go. I can't send you volunteers or anything, right? Can I? I can send one. Hey! Look at me go. Okay, just make Santa Catera. You, with your commando, you should... I can... can I send it to both sides? Hmm. I could send it to one or the other. Are you in any particular... yeah, you're in the Entente. Hmm. Well, I kind of want to see this get a bit stronger. Send over this one division, please, and thank you. I'm surprised that we're able to send divisions. What are we? We're social liberal. Black Monday hits the Republic. May God protect us. So yeah, that's going to hurt, but we don't exactly have a lot. You're a social democrat, I'm a social liberal, I see. Black Monday is upon us, boys. Downfall and stability. Average to low. Yeah, that hurts. Going to need to address that fairly soon. 
Where is the addressing of Black Monday? That's all... Mm. Mm. I know it's around here somewhere. Economic... Da, 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 da. Market protections... Da, 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 da. I don't necessarily see it, but it'll be fine. When's our next election, by the way? By the by. Uh, ideology has grown. Lose political power. I mean, do I want to be a social liberal? Don't necessarily need that. Oh, I, I clicked a button. I guess it grew. Especially if I want to take one of these. Republic Survives would probably require social liberalism. But do I want that? That's the question. Also, I do not like the numbers in favor on this side, although they mostly have militia guarding us. I'm surprised that you don't like this. They're considered stronger. They must have stronger divisions. Six to ten, so it's probably a nine, like normal. Nine or an eight. Also, you are muscat now. Reminds me of how I saw a muskrat yesterday. Dominion of India. We have arrived. Hmm. You there? You can get Commando Skirmisher, Camouflage Expert, Pet Troopers. Let's go Skirmisher for now. I might... Oh, uh, it calls for... Ah, yes, a general election. With Black Monday hitting the Republic of Italy, Prime Minister Ivano Bomboni has decided to call for a general election. Elections will be held in 1936 instead of 1939, as it was scheduled. Hopefully, with this election, Prime Minister will be able to show up, support for his policies, and resolve the economic crisis. But do I want that? Do I want him to be in charge? Because I know that these... Current ruling party is a national populist. Uh, Italian kingdom needs to be established somehow. And... Uh, in fact, Republic has held on to democracy. I'm, I'm, I suppose they're going to give us choices about that. As for this unit, you are probably going to run out of supply at some point, but you'll be strong, ain't you? Oh, no. Get rid of that line. You're going straight into the belly of the beast, into Kabul. I know, there they go. <laughs> oh, yeah, they brought in the entire Entente, didn't they? And now uh, Jabal Shamar has declared war on Najd. That's a new thing that happens as they're trying to form Saudi Arabia, basically. Low manpower is still a thing. Elections will be held, huh? Well, if we if we don't go by shenanigans, November of this year. Oh, okay, okay. Should be able to change it to whatever I want. But your Monaco Popular, authoritarian democracy. I could go for that. Annie in charge, Asa. Association Nazionalista Italiana. Protests against farm auctions. Allow the auctions to continue, base stability down, change in popular. Mm. Pass the bill and ban the auctions. Change of popularity in social conservatives. What's social. Where's the social conservative? They are the blues. Game based stability. Political power down. Political power doesn't seem like something we're going to have for a while, is it? Let's just go. Industrial improvements will definitely help out. Thank you. Maneuvers in the Carpathians. Treaty of Bucharest, 1918, officially ended the Valkyrie in Romania. But at what cost? Romania has now dominated the German and Austrian industries. Both of our coastlines are annexed by Bulgaria. And the Carpathian mountains separate Romania from the Hungary. Well, they put firm Austro-Hungarian control. Something, something. From the nation of Romania. The first major move in the large-scale military exercise seemingly is prepared to see the Carpathians and lead to lands beyond. Okay. Oh, hey, train. So, Iron God Romania is planning on seizing the Carpathians. Good to know. But it looks so good. Toot toot. Victory train. As for us, we could go for those military contracts. We could go for... High Bank Commander, da da da, modernized guns. Finish reforms, not really. At the moment we need to kind of just work. Great. Autostrada. Gains in... Grains infrastructure, or modernized agriculture, which has been monthly supply, da, da, da. monthly population up. I kind of like that one. That'll help give us a little bit more manpower, even if only slightly. 
Also, I kind of like that uh, Kors... Who owned this before? Qing has declared war on the Shang Qing Qing Kuo. Sounds about right. I don't remember who owned this before, but now Corsica is owned by the French Republic. That makes sense. At least it makes sense to me. But with that, it's been 20 minutes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode to see where this goes. Bye-bye!